We're just gonna review what we did last week. Some of you were here, some of you weren't, and that's all right, so we're gonna review it again. So again, lapel work. Whether I take him down or I open him up before we even go to the ground, even if he's tied, I'm underhooking the head and I'm, un I'm going to untie or open up his lapel. All right, so lapel is a super important position in this technique. He, our partner always wants to frame. So you'll have options. You can go under the shoulder, which is the one we showed. You can go through, or you can sling it and go over. I like this one because it's super tight on um, the elbow. I can control him on all kinds of ways. I can start opening him up, stepping to the side, start doing all this other stuff, okay? So the one that we showed last time was we're going under the shoulder and behind the neck. I block the hip. If I want to make it tighter, I go towards his hip and I flex my tricep down like I'm going to flex in the mirror. Right? You ever flex your <coughs> tricep in the mirror like me? All the time. <laughs> I do that. Uh, I flex that tricep, right? And the reason why is because I want to get nice and tight into his pit. Okay? From there, I have nice, nice grip on him. Then I go to his far side hip and I pop up for the knee to belly. Don't do this. No. Keep the pressure on him all the way. If I do this, I'm relieving pressure. I want to keep the pressure. So my hand on his hip is replacing my chest. If I go hand on the mat, then all that pressure goes away and there's a chance for him to escape. So I keep it here. Now I'm right here, okay? I pop up this way. I can pull him up to make it uncomfortable for him. Some people will step over, but we'll get into that later, okay? This hand, once you get your passing points, get your two points for side control. Sometimes it's a super uncomfortable position. I like to pull down and push up, make it miserable for him. So this hand, opposite hand that's blocking the hip, I'm gonna replace my other hand. I'm gonna pass it this way, okay? Don't lean back, because you don't want a freak arm bar, something to happen, all right? From there, I'm gonna come on, you can come underneath the head. I like to go thumb into the shoulder, the clavicle area, and I go like this. I go down, and I follow my elbow down, and I do this. And I squeeze. I'll drop my head. Some people like to go north-south a bit, which is okay, but I don't wanna lose balance. So I'm right here. Squeeze. Squeeze. Okay, that was number one. Number two is, he's defending it. I can't get it. Pull my arm back, pull his elbow. One, two, squeeze. Sometimes you can't have, you don't have enough time to grab your thumb inside. Just grab something. It's like a cross collar choke. But now you have your blade block in this side of the neck. Don't go wide. Three, right next to his ear. One, two, Drop. Just cross collar choke, which is the modifying underneath <clears> the. <throat> you're dropping head and elbow, right? Yes. So it's not either or. So I'm doing this. with the grip. He defends the grip. I can grab this, that's okay, but the elbow is a lot more to grab. If I do this, there's still, my body's still in the way. That's why I lift my butt in the air and I get him onto my shoulder. Yes, so now I can grab anything I need. Elbow is gonna come back into it. I can drop my knee and squeeze. For our chokes. Again, this is what we reviewed last week. There's a ton of pressure, right? And the lapels are always there. That's why I use my lapel for everything. Okay, whether I'm passing it to, to choke you or to pass it to sweep you, right? It's always there too. Any questions? All right, so again, back to our lapels. Again, they're very valuable, okay?
Okay, I want to go over one more, which is another favorite of mine. And it's in case you can't get this one, that's using my own lapel. What I like to do if I'm competing with somebody, or it kind of gets into their brain, because again, when someone's trying to do grip fighting, someone's trying to open me up, I would like to back away, and I'll tuck away, and I'm like, okay, now we're getting back into it, right? But to get into people's minds, I'll be like, fine. Now, and they're like, oh shit. Like, they start to, start to rethink a lot of things. Okay, so I like to open up my own lapel, even if I don't have it open when I go down. If I have it closed this way, I like to hide it. I'm keeping my shoulder pressure and I'm hiding it. Okay, he will never see it coming. What I'd like to do next is this is the far lapel. Okay, you can play with him this way. You can start working on him this way. He's not letting you pass. He's controlling all this stuff. That's all right. I'm right here. What I never want to do is I never want to do this. I'm lifting. I don't want to let him know it's coming. Okay. Okay. He's right here. So what I'm going to do is with the point, I come up and I go across his shoulder this way and I slide my lapel through. So keep your frame. Oh, yeah, that's, more, that's another good one. All right, now he's in danger. Whether I'm in the mount position, I can still do the same thing. It's the same cross body lapel. I'm not going this way because it's not enough slack. Okay, so again, I'm going forward and I'm threading that needle through to the other hand. Now, there's a lot of tension right there. Okay, what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna post my hand to block the hip again. And I'm gonna come up this way, one, and I'm gonna rotate to north-south, flex my tricep, and I'm gonna put my head onto the mat. One, two, three. Nice and tight. Again, for the higher belts, you see I have his arms trapped? That's all right. I can start getting all kinds of stuff from here. Blocking the hip. Rotate. Now, all that pressure is coming all to one, uh, what is it, uh, one concentrated area onto his neck. Yeah, it sucks. He doesn't know it's coming. I don't like to go over because it's just too much area. I like to go. Some people will even do this. Step over. But I want to get my, the more I get my head to the side of the mat, the faster the choke comes. North, south, tip the toes, and drop. Okay, from the far side.